Early detection is so important in the treatment of breast cancer. The number one risk factor is age. As women get older, some feel they don't need mammograms anymore. They do. Please make an appointment today. It just might save your life. Recently, Pikeville Police Department enrolled in an extensive tactical training program. Every officer graduated with the knowledge needed to better handle life or death situations. Pikeville Police Chief Michael Riddle offers more on how the training has improved the local law enforcement. You know, after the tragic events that took place in Allen, I, I went to our city officials and city manager and I said, you know, I, I think that we, we would benefit from some more tactical training. You know, just if nothing else, to, to make us more prepared for a situation that we could someday face similar to what they faced at Allen that day, but also just just to make us be able to better serve our community and, and be safer and, and you know, um, help each other as far, as far as that goes. We had people here that, that may approach a situation differently just because of the way they were trained, but now that we've got uh, everyone that's all had the same training, whether you got a 20-year veteran that shows up with a, a one-year rookie, so to say, they both have the same training and should have the same tactics to, to handle that situation uh, as, as a teamwork, you know. Riddle says this is only the first phase of their training. While it has been tough, every officer is committed to being more prepared to face new dangers every day. Any extra training that you can put yourself through other than, you know, what you, you may already be required to take uh, is always going to better prepare you to, to face these situations like that, uh, you know, like they might have seen that day in Allen or, or what we might face tomorrow. You never know what you might face and we can we plan to continue on with this. You know, this is only phase one of of three just in this, this training that, that we've undergone, and we hope to just, just keep continuing it. For one, it makes us safer. It, it makes us, it, it betters our chances of getting home at night. It, it betters our chances at helping someone that might be in a, a life or death situation, and it makes us to, to better protect each other. So anything that you can do, you know, training-wise that, that makes you safer is, is a plus for not only the members of the department, but the, the communities we serve. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.